winner. First and foremost would be deep faith. And because like everything I do, I rely on Jesus and his guidance. So that would be the first and foremost. Um, always willing to learn new things. So I've been doing it a really long time, but I try to change things up a little bit every year. So I'm not teaching exactly the same way and exactly the same things each year. Um, I try to do it in a different way. For kindergarten, clearly hands-on, everything that they can touch and learn that way is, I think, the most important. I want them to love coming to school. I try really hard to make my classroom a very nurturing, warm environment because I want that we spend so much time together here. So I want it to be like a home away from home. I will tell you that she is such a wonderful and gifted teacher. When I look at it though, the, the main thing I think is so wonderful about her is how much of her life she has given to this school. She's such a testament to someone who comes to work every day and just works hard and she loves the children and she does all kinds of neat things with them. And then the fact that, you know, we, we know that some of her children are having children of their own, that tells you that that has been a legacy of teaching that we, we have to celebrate.